Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Biolapse Suicidal. And I talked in the last episode about how I don't like this map too much. I mean, I like it, it's a good map, but it, I prefer the, the non-holdout style maps. But, I let the uh, let the game pick for me, and this is what it gave us. We will possibly not win. I mean, I'm not super good at uh, Biolapse, honestly. Um, but, at the same time, it is only suicidal, so we'll probably be fine. It's not that hard. I just, uh, I don't like it so much. The only the only one that really gets me, uh, the only map part that really uh, gets me on this one is the one with the um, the long like corridor with the two doors on either side of it. That one, we get that expected death, honestly. Um, that one I'm not so good at. Won't deny it. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I haven't learned how to, how to handle that kind of stuff yet, you know? Maybe, maybe we won't. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm good. I mean, it's been a while since we've done it. I've definitely improved at the game. I'm definitely better at the game than I was uh, the last time we played it, right? Definitely improved a lot over the course of this series, honestly. I mean, 400 episodes of uh, Killing Floor 2. That's a lot of, uh, <laughs> of Killing Floor 2. That's a lot of trying to be better at it. I always try to be better at it. I think it makes it more entertaining if I'm trying to improve it as we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no, I want the, I want the instant thing. Perfect. Boom. Let's go. I didn't quite get it, but it's close enough. Alright. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Can you go in there? No? What is that? It's a little... I like this map. It's a cool map. I like I like I like the um the design of it. Again, I'm not I'm not super into the holdout style maps in general, but you know what? You gotta you gotta admit this is a very well designed map. Okay, you gotta gotta admit it. Ah, oh, I didn't know how to dodge that one. My brain got overloaded by the by the explosions. I didn't know how to I didn't know how to react. I panicked. I'll admit it. I panicked. Okay. And there should be another one right there. You're alive. Yeah, no, I know. I see you. I see you. Okay. Requires a little bit more focus, perhaps. A little bit more focus, one might say. I do like the uh, the boss fight on this one, though. That one, I'll, I'll admit, is nice. The boss fights on the, the um, Biolabs and the Descent are actually both, like, pretty solid. Um, yeah, I like to try to improve at the game as we... Uh, as we played it, I do strive to get better at it. I'm not, uh, I'm not content just being a suicidal player forever. I do want to move up to Hell on Earth eventually, but I want to be at a point where it's almost trivial for me to play Hell on Earth. You know, I want, I want, I want people to watch my videos and be like, "Wow, you make it look so easy." I actually get a fair number of those <laughs> comments already, but I'm only on suicidal. You know, I want to. I want to be getting that kind of reaction from uh, from Hell on Earth gameplay, right? I don't want it for suicidal. I want it for Hell on Earth. Get to the indicated pod for resupply. And we're not there yet. I'm pretty I'm pretty good at uh, at suicidal. I'm pretty good at it. I hated science at school. My worst but subject. Hell on Earth it's a, it's a step above You know, a breeze for me, whereas suicidal kind of is uh firmly situated within it so and I like that I like I like the easy stuff I want to break them I like I like playing easy games sometimes at least for recording I like I like winning you know what I mean like winning feels good okay I'll just say it winning it feels good okay losing feels bad winning feels good and if you're gonna deny that then I think that uh, you're lying it's just, it's just like a basic human thing, right? There's the, there is this part over here that uh, Tripwire added in. Tripwire did this. See how the door kind of like clips into the... We'll close the door here in a moment. See how the door like clips into the... <laughs> and it does it on the other side too. I think. This cat's back in the game. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at it if we can here. Too many sirens. Sirens, man. I think I think that it uh, 
it's clipping there a little bit, right? I'm pretty sure this is the door. Yeah, it clips on both sides. If it clipped on one side, it would almost make sense, you know? Like, it's kind of like sliding over the wall. It clips on both sides. It's sliding through the wall, okay? There's some weird stuff going on with that, okay? That's some of the, the tripwire devs added. I don't believe there was even a, a door over here. I think it was just empty space, perhaps? Or it was... Uh, yeah, I believe, I believe it was just a, a wall. Or not a wall. It was either a wall or you could like walk through freely with no door, or it was just another window. But I can't uh, can't actually remember. I think it was I think it was just another like wall section though, in the original. That's one of the things that they changed, and it's it's the only thing in this map that they changed that I'm not a fan of. It's the only part that I don't like. Um, because it just it like irks me that it's just like in the wall. Like it just feels lazy to me. Feels lazy. Otherwise, though, I think that a lot of the changes they made were pretty good. I know that the dev of the map is like super upset that they changed so much, because he's got so he's got this map and then Desolation, and he's like super anti, uh, like how they added it in and um, changed everything on it. When like the map that was voted in, just like he's like it's a completely different experience. And, you know, you're you have every right to to feel that way when when you get your map added into the game, and then they like change it up so drastically, you know, like, you're, you have every right to be mad about that, but uh, my opinion on the matter is that uh, largely they improved them, so, but that change where the door just, like, clips through the wall, it's just a dumb one, you know, like, why, you know, why, just do a better job, okay, um, but yeah, I like, I like a lot of the changes that they made. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm the typical, you know, player that they're making the game for, right? I don't know, I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, you know, they don't make the game for the, like, top 1%, but... I'm probably, I'm probably that, right? Like, realistically speaking? I, uh, I don't think I'm in the top, like, 0.1%, but I'm, I'm probably, you know, realistically... Top 1% of the players in, in Killing Floor 2, right? Like, just being real with you. Right? Probably? I don't know. I think that about a lot of games, right? I also, I don't think it's as impressive as it sounds either, right? Because when you, when you think about the top 1%, you're like, oh, what's well, like, you're better than 99% of the people. It's like, yeah, well, the other thing you gotta remember is that like 80% of the people play on like normal, right? Like, <laughs> it's... It's not a it's not a very hard thing to be better than them. It's just that most people don't care to put in like the time to to be able to do suicidal or hell on earth consistently, you know. And it's not wrong for them to do that, but um, it does kind of bring down the average skill of the of a player in a game, you know. When you're when you're like yeah, I'm probably top one percent. It's just it's it's mostly because that the bottom ninety nine percent are just like not so great. So I, I, I say this all the time to myself, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think that most people who play video games tend to be in the top 1% of the video games. People, well, and I know it sounds ridiculous, right? Because you're like, literally, no. That's literally not how it works. But, hear me out, okay? <laughs> uh, I, I, think, I think that most people who play video games, like, for a while, you know, like, like, people who actually put in a lot of time to play video games, I think that, it, you know, most people are going to end up in the top 1%. And that that's just because there's, like, so many people who will play a game for, like, you know, 10 minutes a day or whatever, and never get good at it, because they're just like, yeah, that's just my thing, you know? I just like this game a little bit. I never want to be good at it. You get to move. It won't spawn them. It's the top 0.1%, you know, those people who are doing, like, controlled difficulty and, and uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Those people, those are the ones who are, like, definitely above the, uh, I don't know, it's not even the average. It's, I know I'm sounding dumb, but I, uh, I do personally think that uh, the top 4% of the game is not that, uh, not that bad. It's not that, it's not that big of a hurdle. You know, when you really think about it. Anyway, 
I, uh, well, no, actually not anyway. We're not going to change the topic. We're going to continue with this one. Um, because, uh, I think about it with, uh, with Path of Exile a lot, too, when I played that. Although that one makes a bit more sense for me to be in the top where I'm saying, because I have, like, 4,100 hours in the game or something stupid. Um, you would expect me to be one of the better players in that game after, after the amount of time that I've invested in that game, right? Um, but I think about it in Path of Exile all the time, right? Because I play it and I still look up to people who, uh, who I looked up to when I started playing. Right, like, Mathel and... That's it. Um, like, I look up to them, right? And, uh, not, not, not necessarily in, like, an idolistic way, but I, uh, I view them as being somebody that I could, uh, learn from, you know what I mean? But... The reality is, I'm probably about as good as most of those people now, because I've, uh, I've I've got you know 4,100 hours in the game. Like I'm I'm pretty dang good. I think Mathel's probably got more hours than me for sure. He's probably got like over 10,000, 15,000 hours in the game. Um, but you know whatever. I'm pretty good too, right? But when I want to play in the league. I can typically manage to get myself couple hundred exalts, make some decent gear, and then have some fun, and that probably puts me in the top 1% of players in Path of Exile, right? First batch of Which is, uh, is cool to think about. Get ready to RuneScape? Am I in the top 1% of RuneScape? I don't know. I don't know. That one's a little bit harder for me. Because, uh... I don't know many people who are below me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't know if that's because of... I don't know. There's, there's like few hundred thousand players, right? Like, active players in RuneScape. Especially with the Steam release lately. Um, and my, my bank is like three bill or something. Like three, three and a half bill total. Um, I have two-factor authentication on both my email and my RuneScape account, so don't even think about hacking me, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, I got uh, like three and a half bill in my bank or something like that, which is Definitely not a lot. I know. I know some people who have like ten bill or whatever. Like I don't. I don't have the money to go and buy like a Hazelmere signet ring or something, right? Like I definitely don't. But uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably in the top one percent of players in RuneScape as well, right? Just, and, and again, it's not because I'm very good at it. It's just I think that there's a lot of people who are not very good at it <laughs> you know what i mean like there's a lot of people who are just content with with playing a little bit and getting some questing done they never want a pvm they're never really going to go for maxing or whatever i don't even have a max cape but i don't know and that's that's kind of what makes me think that i might not be in the top one percent just because there are a lot of people who have a max cape but then i'm also like yeah but i also do like a lot of pvm and i'm pretty good at it so i don't know Runes, RuneScape's one where I'm not, uh, like, pretty sure I'm in the top 1%. Like, Path of Exile, I'm, like, confident I'm top 1% worthy. Um, Killing Floor 2, I'm, I'm reasonably confident I'm probably top 1%. Um, in Killing Floor 2, I think I'm, I'm, like, barely top 1%, but I definitely think I am. In, uh, RuneScape, though, I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm only top 10%. You know, maybe I'm not, uh... Maybe I'm not quite one percent worthy, right? Maybe I don't know. This is this is the map that I hate, by the way. So again, like I'm just not good at it. I don't know what I'm doing, and I panic. Okay. Okay, we have to go out this way and like get some space here. Okay. Um. So anyway. Path of Exile, definitely top 1%. Like, no question in my mind about that. My uh, my standard wealth is probably in the, like, thousands of exalts. <laughs> like, I'm definitely one of the richer standard players out there. Definitely not in the top, like, 0.1%. You know, I don't have, like, thousands of exalts to spend on stuff. But I have, like, a total wealth of thousands of exalts, you know what I mean? And in all of my gear and stuff. Um... Mostly, again, just due to the time played and length of, of time played. I have lots of, like, um, I got lots of legacy uniques and legacy rares and stuff. 
in, uh, in standard. But, uh, yeah, RuneScape, I just, I don't know. RuneScape's definitely one where I'm not. And then you got other games that I play, like, uh, like Gunfire Reborn. I am 100% not even close to the top 1% in Gunfire Reborn. And, uh, I think that that's, that's, that's my justification for thinking that it's not hard to get into the top 1%. Because Gunfire Reborn is that game for me, right? I beat the, I beat the boss, like, three times now. I haven't beaten the boss competently with, without being carried by a broken run yet at all um, I just I played a little bit here and there have a little bit of fun and and carry on with my life right I don't I don't put in the time to really get too good at it although I am improving um, you know I just I don't uh, so I'm, I'm probably bringing the average down well I'm, I don't know I'm probably bringing the average up but uh, to anybody that can consistently beat the game I'm definitely pushing them higher to the top 1%, you know? Like, I'm, I'm making that a little bit easier for them to reach as I play it. Um, and I just, I have no desire to to improve to the point where I'm, like, completely trivializing the game. Like, I'm gonna move on before then, because it's not gonna be super fun to me anymore, you know what I mean? So I just, I make it easier for other people to get into the top 1% by being a, a fairly okay-ish player. And then uh, other people who, who have a lot of fun with it and want to put in more time and, and get really good at it, get to say that they're better than me and and you maybe and and somebody else you know so that's 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 my justification for why I don't think it's that hard to be in the top 1% of games the exception are games like RuneScape that have been around for like 20 years and have like thousands of players who have been playing for 20 years on the same account and have like you know got like full 200 mils in their skills and you know, hundreds of bills, and it's like, there's thousands of them out there. Like, getting into the top 1% is a little tricky, because, you know, the game is also kind of not super big. Ooh, this is it, this is it, baby, this is it. No, you jerk. Um, but, you know, hey, right? It's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't, I don't have to be in the top 1% to be happy. But uh, yeah, I do think about it from time to time. Puts it puts it in perspective, you know. I think that it's important to to recognize how good you are at things. Dead or not born yet. But like realistically, to uh, to know how much you have, how much you can improve, and I don't know, just to not sandbag. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I find really annoying is when people are talking about games and they're like, "Oh, I kind of like suck at it," and you're looking at it and you're like, "Dude." I don't see many people better than you. <laughs> Most people are worse than you. Um, you know, there's there's some people better than you, but like most people, they ain't they ain't up to that level of uh, of ability. And I think that I fit into that in a lot of cases. I think that I don't. I think I fit into the the other category in other games. It's just you know some games you you play a lot more and you're going to be good at them, right? It's all about that time investment. Any game that you invest time into, you're probably going to be top one percent pretty easily. You know, I've been playing Killing Floor 2, like, since the day it came out. Like, in closed beta, even. Right? Like, it's, it, there, I've been playing it a long time. There's, there's not many people who have been playing it longer than me, although there are a lot of people who have played it more than me. Um, well, not really a lot, but definitely a number. Quite a number of people. I wouldn't call it a lot relative to, like, the total number of people in KF2, but I would call it a lot just, like, if you go to, like, in a, a stadium and you stand in the middle of it and you have this number of people standing around you are you like holy cow that's a lot of people yeah um my goodness not having fun with that one um anyway so uh yeah i don't know i just i like thinking about it i like thinking about it and i do i do think about it I think that Minecraft is another game where I can firmly say that I'm in the top 1% of players. So, just putting it out there for you. Um, be excited for uh, that series to finally be live because it's going to be sick. Oh, jeez. I hate this. This is another thing they added that I don't like. Is this stupid box here? Don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that addition. That wasn't. This box was not here in the uh, in the original map. They added it because they hate me. I know you can just know that it's not there and know that it's there and move around it, but like, 
We were really close, too. We were really close. Anyway, not going to do another run after that. So, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.